So with a side lying test, we're gonna check out the left posterior canal. Remember the left posterior canal sits 45 degrees off the sagittal plane. If we're gonna lie the patient to their side, we can turn the head to the left, and now we have that canal loaded right in the plane of movement as we sit the patient, lay the patient down. All right. So this is the whole purpose with these tests. Move the patients in the plane of their canals to get the debris to dump. Position's important. Doing it quick isn't. All right, because the debris is going to fall either way. All right. So for a Side lying test, you want to turn the head contralateral. Okay, so we're here. Go ahead and hold on to my forearms. Same test instructions as I've talked to you about before. Make sure you keep your eyes open. Uh, if you get dizzy, it tends to just last seconds. If you start to feel sick, we'll let you up. Make sure you keep the eyes open. Ready? Down to this shoulder. She can bring her legs up or leave them down, it doesn't matter. Use a pillow if your patient's petite or thinner so you can get the head extended back over the pillow. So go ahead and hold on to my arms. You're gonna lay down on a count of three. Ready, one, two, three, lie down. Keep your eyes right on the tip of my nose, hold here. You should be at 45 degrees rotation, just very slight extension with your patient. Eyes on my nose and you watch, type in the stagmus, how long did it last? That's what you wanna collect from the patient. After it's done, a little recovery time, and then you can go ahead and you can sit them back up, drop your feet off the bed, and sit back up. 